Hello, hello. So I can't believe we're already at the end of 2023. Christmas, all the festive holidays uh, are coming up or probably you already have started yours. Um, and I know that with the holidays, there's just a lot of, you know, indulging and eating and all of that is great because there is much to celebrate and to be thankful for. Um, just for this whole year, even if it's been a difficult year, there is always something to be grateful for. Um, and, you know, it just got me thinking about the holidays and, um, you know, just how we, we celebrate and, you know, a lot of it is indulging. Um, and I guess what I wanted to challenge you all with is instead of indulging, we enter this holiday season really with a spirit of Thanksgiving. Um, because when I feel when we enter into something with a grateful heart, with a spirit of Thanksgiving, we are less likely to indulge. We're more likely to give back to others, to serve others. And honestly, when we are giving and when we're serving, when we're caring for others, you're actually less likely to be indulging in your own uh, your own desires and your own um, needs, whether that is uh, a cake or um, or out shopping, right? And so I was, you know, reflecting a lot about um, yeah, just Christmas and the holiday season. I was having a conversation uh, with a a client friend of mine, and she was just sharing about how she's actually dreading the holidays. Um, mainly due to you know the the excess food consumption, the excess alcohol consumption, and just feeling that pressure to to you know to be a part of the party, right? To to have your drink when other people are are drinking, or to eat the the pudding or the pie um, rather than saying no and not really being like feeling lame, right? And so. You know, I, I did think about that and how that is difficult. You know, you do want to um, take part in in just the festi fest festivities, um, and it just brought back to my kind of uh, gratitude for um, my community. And I can't say that um, you know my health community uh, was always there. Uh, so when I fell sick, uh, I really had to, well, I guess the, the good thing with being sick is that you have an excuse. Um, so it was easier to say no um, in terms of not feeling guilty. Uh, I probably felt bad about myself, like, oh, I couldn't eat this or I couldn't drink that. Um, but. Uh, I didn't have that guilty feeling of, oh, I'm letting somebody down. It was, there was no real peer pressure. And my, my friends um, and the people around me uh, were, were understanding, of course. And, but what that translated to was my choices or my kind of stance on what I would eat or what I would, um, you know, the, the type of restaurants that I went to. Um, that would end up translating to my friends who wanted to support me and then they became interested. Oh, why aren't you eating this? Or why are you choosing to opt, uh, for example, quinoa instead of rice, right? Or quinoa instead of, of, of pasta? Or why are you uh, going for the gluten-free or the organic or the wild caught? Um, and so we would have these conversations and slowly over time, I really did, um, you know, create this wonderful community where we get excited over these things. And we uh, now, you know, go out to search for that new healthy, um, healthy joint in, in, in Hong Kong. Although sadly, a lot of them have closed uh, with COVID, but, um, you know, whether it's eating out or creating our own health clubs where we would do potlucks and um, make a healthy dish and share it with each other or we exchange healthy tips. And that's really uh, where uh, community is so important. Our social circles 
is so important to our well-being, to our um, not just our physical well-being, but also our mental and emotional well-being. And so, I just want to uh, both challenge um, and and also bless you guys in finding the safe community uh, where you can truly be yourself. Um, so when you want to say no. Um, uh, you can say no and, and feel comfortable saying no to that 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 cake or that extra glass of alcohol um, and also that safe uh, community where um, you know they or, or perhaps they would even encourage you um, to, to for healthy options and I myself I've been I've been really blessed with this and so um, yeah, I wanted to bless you guys this Christmas with this healthy community um, for your body, mind, and spirit. And, you know, if you don't have that community, you can form one. That's kind of what I did, um, although it was, it was more of a natural thing rather than an intentional thing. But you can form one and it could start with just you and one other. And it might build to three and four and five and before you know it, you'll have a group where uh, you don't have to feel guilty about um, saying no to things or um, it'll end up being where you don't even say no and you're just together enjoying each other's company um, but also being kind to your body. So bless you all, um, Merry Christmas and I shall see you guys in the new year. Bye.